Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. President, we all share in the sorrow, anger and dismay at such a futile act of mass murder. And can I express my sympathy and the sympathy of my constituents to the people of Norway on this tragedy? Sadly, in Northern Ireland, we know only too well the horror of terrorism. That this terrorism should be directed at young people is particularly horrifying. Many eminent people have been quoted here today, many statesmen, writers, politicians. But I think, as probably the last speaker in this round, it would be appropriate if I take you to the words of one young survivor. As she explained in her blog how she rushed through the bushes and the rocks to escape the killer. I can't even shed a tear, she wrote. I can't believe it. Today, I almost died. We don't deserve to die, and that's also why I'm writing this post. We are just ordinary people. We are involved in politics. We want to make the world a better place. Mr. President, we stand shoulder to shoulder with the people of Norway at this time of grief. In this house, we come from all shades of political opinion. And while many of us find the politics of the far right sickening, by standing together as Democrats, we can ensure that terror and violence will never prevail. Thank you. Dziękuję bardzo.